Well, hey folks, I've been asked uh, by a number of people to uh, repost my video showing how I um, use the tuning board to uh, test my alignment after I drill a block. And um, so I thought I'd take a moment and, and record this. So um, this technique I'm about ready to show you is, is based on, uh, you know, probably the most common technique, uh, which is simply to take your car after you drill it, uh, put a few, um, ax you know, put the axles and, and spare wheels in and simply uh, roll it down the board. And um, what you're looking for is you're looking to make sure that the uh, wheels migrate out away from the body. And you do it both in the forwards and in the backwards orientation here. Again, looking for the wheels to migrate away from the body. The... Um, the idea being that if there is any toe in or toe out in your drill, um, that's going to be exposed uh, by this roll test. Um, I have a couple of issues with this particular uh, approach though. Uh, number one is that um, it, it adds this, the variable of the, of the uh, dominant front wheel here. Uh, you know, if there's steer or no steer, whatever, whatever steer is there might impact you know the way the rear wheels behave whether they're migrating um, the other issue I have is that you know you're it's it's rolling down pretty quick and you're trying to really look at at what how the wheel is behaving you know there's only a small amount of, of movement here before it hits the the tip of the axle uh, or sorry the head of the axle and stops moving so I um, I really started to look for a way that I could uh, both you know, remove the variable of the of the dominant front wheel, and also um, kind of move the car in a more controlled fashion, so that I could really study the movement of the of the rear wheels. So I came up with this approach. So what I have here is your common everyday um, square, and all I've done here is I've used some two-sided tape to attach a thumbtack on there. I don't know if you can thumbtack comes through, but this is a sharp little thumbtack. You know, anything would work here. I've seen some guys who have just uh, actually screwed a, a screw in here uh, permanently. Um, but anything that'll, that you can rest a, a car body on will work. Um, the other thing I'm, I do is, uh, instead of using axles, I prefer to use these pin gauges. Uh, because they don't have a head to them, and so the, there's a lot more movement here for the for the wheel to move, and I can study the movement more. And so, um, go ahead and put put some wheels on this. And of course, there's no dominant front wheel here, which I think is a um, positive aspect to this this test. Then you just put this. Um, attach that onto the front there. There's a. I already have a hole, so I'm just trying to make sure I use the same hole I used before. There we go. Get it so it's somewhat level. And then get it lined up here. I've got a. I've got a line I've drawn, and I'm just trying to line up the pin gauges to that line to make sure that as I start out. Um, the cars, the car is straight, going heading straight down, and then uh, put some put some weight on, and then just go ahead and move it down the track. Now, what I'm what I'm uh, looking for again is just how are the wheels migrating? Are they migrating away from the body? Are they migrating about the same um, rate? And uh, that looks pretty good. I'm just looking at the gaps right there. Then, um, after I get it down a, a ways, I'll just reverse it and go backwards. And again, I'm looking for, you know, are the wheels continuing to migrate away? Which they are. The other thing I'm looking for here is, you know, this backwards test is actually pretty sensitive to um, any sort of steering being induced by the rear end. So, if there's... Um, a pretty bad um, toe in or toe out here. That's going to induce some steer in the in the rear end pretty quickly. Um, but this one backed up. It was extremely straight, 
and ended up pretty much in the exact same orientation that it was when I started. So that looks like a, a good drill. Um, now I didn't actually create this process with uh, with bent axles in mind but I've been told by a number of people who have used uh, bent axles that this has really helped them out because what they've been able to do is um, use this this trick, use their ax, uh, have their bent axles in there, and then use this to fine tune the orientation of those axles so that to make sure that they're straight. So if there's so if this is indicating a little toe in or toe out, then they just go and give that axle a little t twist to uh, correct it. And uh, people have been really successful in using this and and getting their uh, bent axles to run straight. So um, that's it. I hope uh, this is helpful. Mm -hmm.